My question was regarding uh, Rukia, uh, where, especially uh, when I'm uh, doing Rukia before sleeping. So if I do Rukia uh, and go to sleep, if I wake up in the middle of the night and, you know, do praying or whatever, uh, and go back to bed, do I have to do Rukia again? What is the meaning of Rukia in general? Okay, I will answer you. There is a difference, my friend, between Ruqya and Adhkar. Adhkar is a set of phrases and prophetic hadiths and verses of the Quran that we say in the morning and evening time, after fart prayer, before going to bed, after, uh, before leaving the home, uh, before eating, after eating, before entering the toilet, so many things. These are called adhkar. And these are mentioned in the small booklet, Fortress of the Muslim, which Allah blessed me to explain. And it's on YouTube, on my channel, and elsewhere. Ruqya is a set of verses of the Quran and prophets sayings and supplications only specifically recited to uplift an illness, a disease, evil eye, envy, black magic, or gen possession, and the likes. So if you have harm or you're affected by evil spirits or a disease or something that aches you and pain in your body, you do ruqya. So now you're referring to athkar of bed or before going to bed. And the answer is, if you say it before you go to bed and you wake up in the middle of the night to go to the toilet or to pray, and then you want to go again to bed, you are not required to say them again because the first time is sufficient for you and Allah knows best.